Hello everyone, my name is Gauthier Papon, I am the CEO of Argolite. Welcome to part 2 of this series about Daybook 2, Daybook Data Manager. Daybook 2 is the software companion to our hardware line of products. It is designed to give you answers to two questions. Is something wrong with my system? And how is my system performing? These are simple questions that can be very hard to answer. Daybook 2 answers these questions with its two components, Daybook Analysis and Daybook Data Manager. Daybook Analysis goal is to answer these questions by giving you quantified information about the system performances at a specific given time. It's the absolute way of measuring performances. Daybook Data Manager answers the same questions by giving you information about one or several systems evolution throughout time. It's a way to measure performances relative to past performances. Today's topic is Daybook Data Manager. Now let's jump into Daybook 2 and see how we can do that. Now if I go to Daybook Data Manager I see three parts. Microscope, it is where I will set up my systems and profile. Monitoring, where the actual quality control is done. And reports, to export PDF reports out of my data. The power of Daybook Data Manager is that all your data are available in one place. As soon as you have a doubt about a microscope, or if you need to show that your systems are working well, you can do it easily by comparing Daybook Analysis results to the one you stored in your database. In monitoring, I have a clear view of the evolution of my system. Each line in the quality control timeline represents a specific metrics I follow. The color of the tile represents the value to the, of the metric in regard to specific thresholds. I can easily select what metrics I want to follow and the color for the thresholds. Below my quality control timeline, I can display as many cards as I want to explore the data in my database. There are three types of cards available, lines charts, image, and table. To add a card, I click on Add New Card, select the test I want to explore, the type of graphic I want to see, and the metric I want to follow. Some cards will have different options. In the case of the line chart, you can add a line and a spread for more visual control. They are dynamic cards. As you introduce more data in the database, the cards will automatically update and display the new value, slowly plotting the history of your system. I will finish this video by talking about the feedback button. It is a rather small but very important to us. You don't hesitate to use it to send us feedback about what you like, what you don't like, and any bug you see. This is how we can make great software that are useful to the community. Thank you for watching this video. If you need more information, do not hesitate to contact us at contact at argolite.com or on our website argolite.com. I wish you a great day.